Well, the company's roughly 500 bakery outlet stores will stay open for several days to sell the remaining products. However, for some, that's not long enough. Lindsay Shively is live in the newsroom to explain that. Lindsay? Mark, wherever you find your hostess goods sitting on shelves, chances are they won't be sitting there for long if they're still there at all. This is already a busy week at grocery stores. Some people come in stocking up. But it isn't Thanksgiving fixins flying off shelves today. There's one customer came and bought 10 boxes of them. <laughs> one look at the hostess stand shows Twinkies tapped out hours after this morning's hostess delivery. I grew up on Twinkies since I was a little kid. And that's, that's unbelievable. Michael Matthews hadn't even heard that hostess had gone under. Yeah, I should go buy some of them today. Good luck. He is looking for ding dongs and leaves disappointed. She is still able to get the donuts she's bought every week for decades, but not for long. This is my addiction. <laughs> my daughter in law told me that my grandkids can't live in a world without Twinkies. How many did you buy? Uh, two, two cases <laughs> for her. He's one of the customers that helped clean out this outlet on Shawnee Mission Parkway, where nostalgia meets need. I asked them what was going on in there, and they said they're going out of business. Especially for families like the Claires. They've come here for years. You can't beat the price on the bread. 59 cents a loaf is a bargain they really can't miss. Because our son, usually, he's diabetic, so we usually get a whole wheat bread for him. But today, they're one of the few leaving empty handed. I drive all the way from Wyoming County coming out here. Hoping for their 12 year old's sake. You can't get this no place else. Hostess isn't gone forever. The people we talk to at Hy-Vee aren't really sure when their hostess deliveries will stop. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.